welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been such a long time since I sat down and was able to do a video with you guys. I have such an exciting video planned for right now. Right now, I'm so excited. Um, if you haven't already seen my last video upload, it's a two-parter. I hit some seriously epic estate sales and I got a lot of really awesome all this stuff behind me um holiday vintage goodness it was awesome um if you didn't go and watch those videos go back go and watch those and then come back and watch this one in that video i talk about this big red tote that i picked up at that estate sale i grabbed this tote from the very very top shelf in the garage Nobody really knew it was up there and it says winter clothes, but what is in this tote is not winter clothes. I haven't really looked inside. I only saw a couple things on top and I asked the people at the estate sale company if I could buy the entire tote sight unseen and they said yes. So today I am unboxing what is in this tote. I hope it's a bunch of really awesome vintage Christmas, but it could be amazing and it could be a flop. I'm not really sure. So come along and let's unbox this tote. I'm so excited. So as I was saying, I was able to grab some really amazing vintage holiday items. It was probably one of the best estate sales I've been to in a really long time. I did go in the opening hour on the opening day and they had so much good stuff that it was going so quickly. You literally couldn't even blink or you wouldn't get anything. So when I found this tote in the garage, I took it down, I kind of hid in the corner and cracked it open because there was no joke, probably like 60 people around me in only the garage area. It was so hectic, but when I crack this tote open, I'm going to show you. So on the front, it says winter clothes, which I think people didn't go towards this tote for two reasons. One, it was on the very top shelf. And for two, it said winter clothes. And this estate sale was one of those ones where you could kind of just dig in everything. Pretty much nothing was off limits. So um, I didn't feel bad about looking in this tote, even though it was on the top shelf of the garage. But right when I cracked it open, I found this sealed set of um, Holt Howard Winking Santa mugs. They are completely sealed in their package and that was honestly enough for me. I just put them back, closed the lid, brought the whole tote to the whole pile and asked them if they would sell it to me sight unseen. They kind of breezed through it real quick and they said, yeah, no problem. And they gave me a price and I bought it. And the whole thing, is wrapped in everything in here is wrapped in paper so i did just kind of like peek around to make sure everything else in here seemed to be christmas and it did so i just kind of took a gamble and plus i thought it'd be a really fun video so with these being on top i couldn't resist the gamble i love a good mystery box and so that is what i did i bought the whole thing so i'm gonna Scoot the camera down a little bit more so that you guys can see into this box with me and then we're gonna get to opening. I hope there's some good stuff in here. If not, that's fine too. It's all part of the fun. So let's get into the box. So originally I was sitting on a stool but I realized the best angle for this was kind of just to sit on the floor. And yes, my floors are not done yet. Um, this is my new office. I'm just doing things in waves. But I think me and my daughter might actually paint these floors just for some fun. So I'm so excited. Okay, so the first thing was these. Really, really awesome. I love these. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get rid of them. I think I'm gonna have to keep these. These are awesome. All right, here we go. All right, I see an Anna, Anna Lee Santa Claus. He's cute. I am, I don't see an Annalie tag, but I'm almost certain that he is an Annalie Santa. And then right next to him, I see Mrs. Claus. So they're together. Yay, y'all didn't separate. 
So those are the first things in the mystery box. All right, all right. Next items are this little kitty cat Christmas ornament. Doesn't appear to be too terribly old, but still cute. And then this one does appear to be vintage. It's made in Japan, a little mouse and a present. It, this one is ceramic and this one is plastic. Then I see a wherever I go, Santa Coca-Cola mug, or glass, doy. Not sure the year, I'm not too familiar with Coca-Cola items, but it does appear to be somewhat vintage. So nothing epic yet, but that's totally okay. Let's see what else is in here. Here is a modern snowman candle. It's a big one now. Hopefully there's some good stuff in here. I'm starting to worry. Um, then I did see this when I opened the box. It is a hand painted Santa gourd from 1990. It is signed by the artist. I think that's really cute though, even though it's not vintage. Well, I guess to 19, what did I say? 1990 is vintage now, but not too, too vintage. All right, I don't know what to grab. Here is a Christmas totem pole. It appears to be a hobbyist piece. It says, Merry Christmas. Geez, Santa, about to strain something. That person did a really good job though. Painting that. Lot of details. Oh, here is a wooden Santa Claus basket. Probably from the 90s as well. I'm really starting to worry. All right, here is a made in China Santa on sleigh Christmas ornament. A signed Santa Claus wooden rolling pin. I'm surprised though. I really thought that there would be more vintage in this box because at the house she was obviously a holiday collector, but I didn't see very many modern Christmas things, but maybe this was her stash of modern stuff. I'm not sure. It's looking that way. This is a wooden hand painted Santa Claus. And I see another, actually two more. These are so good. Look at these gourd shapes. Are they gourds or are they wood? They might just be wood. But look at that. That is so fun. And here's this one. This is a great trio. I'm happy with these. I think these are really, really fun. Okay, got that one. So I'm pretty sure this is Avon. Yep. This is an Avon Christmas tree perfume bottle, or I'm not sure if it was perfume or, oh, cologne. Moon, moon wind cologne. That's still really cute. That on a color changing light base would be really fun for um, Christmas. All right, we'll get a little older. Avon's not my favorite, but it is older. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. This brings me hope again. This is the kind of thing I was hoping to find in this tote. This is a Holt Howard, oh, I got goosebumps, Winking Santa Pitcher. I've always wanted one of these. So, okay, okay, okay. I mean, honestly, even if everything else in here is modern, this, and these totally made up for it. Um, I'm excited again. I was starting to worry if I was even gonna post this, but this has got me excited again. <gasps> There's still hope for this tote. There's still hope yet. That was awesome. I hope there's more like that. I really hope, I hope, I hope. 
But like I said, if there isn't, that's okay. I'm happy with those items. A, why, can, why am I drawing a blank? Like a stick? Is that the word I'm looking for? A stick handmade reindeer with one horn. His other horn might be in here, or antler. Not horn, could be a horn. We got some snowman cups from Kig Indonesia. Not my like favorite, but cute from the 90s as well, probably. Come on, Holt Howard, y'all chant with me. Come on, Holt Howard. Oh, here's the other two. So at least we have a whole set of four. That's not too shabby. Then we've got some more modern Santa Clauses. This one is a candle holder, uh, made in China. And then another wooden one. He goes with this guy. So we got a pair, that's cool. They are well made, they're solid wood, so. All right. This feels like another cup. Yep, we've got Garfield on a sleigh with his doggy. I forget his dog's name. This is a Jim Davis cup. Not familiar with, I'm not the biggest glass expert, so things like this are not necessarily my wheelhouse, but I will be sure to look that up. Then this is 20 Chimney Santa, or yeah, 20 Chimney Santa 89. This appears to be handmade. That's kind of fun. Not whole Howard, but fun. Here is the bottom of maybe Santa. I don't know where the rest of them is. Oh, oh, oh. It's a, uh, 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 what are they called? Um, why am I drawing a blank? Those dolls. I know what they're called. Where they stack inside of each other, but I don't know why I can't think of what they're called. Mark starts with an M, but I'm drawing a blank. But this is cute. There's three of them. And I don't, I haven't come across the bottom of this one yet. Oh, his eye. But those are still fun. So maybe we'll come across the bottom. We have another Garfield mug riding in his sleigh. So we have a pair of those. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. Now this is broken, but I don't care. Oh my goodness. This is another Holt Howard piece. It is the Holt Howard Santa cookie, or sugar and creamer. So here he is with his gold star eyes. He has his original Holt Howard sticker on the bottom. And then on the sugar dish, here's the lid. You can see the spoon was broken off, but the spoon is here so I can glue that. And he has his lid. Oh, I'm so happy. Other than the spoon, it's in excellent condition and the cold paint is perfect. I have never seen this piece um, in the wild, so that is awesome. Another Ho Howard. Okay, okay, I like, I lose faith and then things like this gain my faith back. Oh, I'm so excited you can hear the lid shaking because I'm shaking. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Yay! All right. Oh, here's the bottom to that Santa. Okay, so we have we have the full set now. So that's pretty cool. I hate that his eye has flaked off, but still very cute. We have a little Christmas tree that kind of looks like a mushroom, so that's cute. And I don't know what to grab. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I don't want, I don't know. I'm like, 
I don't want to keep going, but I do because I don't want this to be over. I love this like excitement, but I'm also like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm freaking out kind of. All right, what are you? It's like Christmas, literally. All right, this is a made in China piece. So it's just a resin Santa Claus. He's still cute though. These are great items to put in my antique booth. I do have two antique booths. So even though this isn't the, you know, top notch items that we're looking for, they still make really good booth items. So I'm not mad about those types of items at all. Okay. I'm just, I don't know what to grab. Okay, we're just gonna go. It appears that like the majority of the rest of these items are kind of large. So, here's another one. A gift for me to my dear friend Cheryl. Love you, Woody, 1997. So, he's another handmade piece. So, even though these aren't vintage, they are handmade and they're signed. So, there may still be some resale value in these. He's big too. He's a big Santa man. All right. I want to open it like in front of you guys, but at the same time, these items, I don't know what's in here. I don't know if there's lids. So I'm just trying to be careful. Oh my goodness. This is, I don't know if this is Holt Howard. It does have a Japan sticker on the bottom. This is a Mrs. Claus mug with her hat oh it's a sugar is it a sugar bowl? <gasps> what it says ashes so like it's a teacup and then you use her hat for ashes you know when you have in your morning cup of joe in your morning cigarette you need your ashtray that is so fun she is cute happy about that again cold paint excellent condition and also in that same paper was this made in like China um, butter spread. It's resin. And then this, this salt or pepper shaker. But that was it. It was only this one. So maybe we'll find the other one. But these were in that same paper. Okay, what are you going to be? Look at this oil lamp. That is adorable. It's certainly older, probably Japan. No markings, but oh my goodness, that is adorable. Again, excellent condition. Cold paint is pristine. I love this. Another good score. Woo -woo. I'm so happy. I was really, really losing faith at the beginning, but slowly. Great things are happening. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I'm excited. Another one. I think, is this one different? Yeah, this is the three button winking Santa with the colored eyes and this is the other one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't have either of these. Holt Howard, 100%. I could tell without even looking at the bottom. Ah, <gasps> uh, this is, this was totally worth the gamble. I'm so incredibly happy. And I'm just, it's so cool that you guys can do this with me. Cause I, I honestly did not look in here. Okay, it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six more wrapped items, and they all appear to be kind of large. So if there's another one in here, I might just die. I might, you might have to come give me CPR. Oh my gosh. Another one. Now this one, oh my goodness, is the same as this one. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a size difference. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think they're the same size, but oh my goodness, there was two in here. So now I have three Holt Howard pitchers and the Holt Howard sugar and creamer and the lamp and the mug 
and the little Holt Howard mugs. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, I'm dead. You're gonna have to come resuscitate me. Um, I don't even mind. I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, what are you? I guess she was hiding all her good stuff on the bottom so that the people didn't find it. I don't know, but. Okay, this definitely, these definitely have salt and pepper still in them. They are vintage made in Japan. Santa salt and pepper shakers. And this one says Merry Christmas. And this one says Happy New Year. Again, cold paint is in pristine condition. I don't know how long they've been wrapped in this box and stored, but they're in such good condition. Made in Japan on the bottom. These are cute. I'm gonna set these back in here because they're seeping salt and pepper. Okay. I think we have four or so items left to go. All right, we have this 1999 Coca-Cola little trinket box. And inside it has a little six pack of Cokes. That is really cute. It appears to be in perfect condition. Made in China, but it is Coca-Cola licensed. Then we have this Santa Claus shaker. And I wonder, yep, and here's Mrs. Claus. So Mr. and Mrs. Claus, these don't appear to be too old, but oh, they're Avon, who knew? But they're still cute. And they're not broken or anything, so those are good. Those are good. I could have used some more whole Howard, but let's not be selfish here, okay? Let's not be selfish. Let's be grateful for what we do have. But there are three items left, or three wrappings left. So, ooh. All right, I don't know which of the three to go into first. I'm just gonna grab one. I don't know. Oh, cute. We got this little Christmas teddy bear. He's flocked. That's cute. And we've got a bear salt and pepper shaker. And then this, which this goes to the guy that I said was a candle holder, I'm pretty sure. So is this your hat? Yeah! Ta-da! Reunited. I'm getting nervous because there's two items left. Oh no, okay, so this is broken. I'm assuming this salt or pepper shaker went with that chimney. So he probably went with this. Oh yeah, he sat on it, see, like that. But he is broken, but this is still a cute little piece to use as a riser. And I see something that that was in. What a mixture. This tote is, it's like a roller coaster. It goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. I can't keep up, but oh my goodness. It's a Holt Howard picture and this one's short and stubby. It's so cute. Again, says Holt Howard on the bottom. Oh my goodness, 1962. <sighs> Amazing. Um. I've got quite the collection going on over here, guys. Super happy. I, I knew it. I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew when I saw these on top. I knew that there was going to be some good stuff in here. I'm so happy that I took that gamble. I do recommend if you guys are ever at an estate sale, if the estate sale company is really cool um, and you find a sealed box like this, I do recommend grabbing it because life is short and this is fun. This is so fun. And honestly, if I had started opening this um, in front of everybody at the, that particular estate sale where I got all of this amazing thing, all of these amazing things behind me, it was like 
a feeding frenzy. So if I had opened this and started pulling out these pieces, they would have literally have fought me over this toe. So I'm extremely happy that I did what I did because sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do, you know? And we got one item left. And so this is wrapped, but I can see a handle. Do you see the handle? So it's completely wrapped. Oh my gosh, I see red. Okay, okay, okay. But I see the handle, so I think. Oh my gosh, look at this little one. This is also Holt Howard. I'm freaking out. This one is different. So I got two that are the same. And then one, two, three that are different. So I have all together four different Holt Howard pictures in one duplicate. And then the sugar and creamer, all Holt Howard, and the mini Holt Howard winking Santa mugs. What an epic score. I cannot believe that I got all of these. Um, and for those of you that aren't familiar with Holt Howard, these pictures, just depending on size and condition and pattern, they consistently go for about $75 a piece. So I have one, two, three, four, five, plus the sugar and creamer, plus the winking mugs. So that was really an awesome score. Um, that, this is the last item. What an awesome item to end on. What a fun adventure that was. Now I just gotta figure out if these are going to be for sale or if I'm going to hoard them or what I'm going to do with all of these amazing vintage Holt Howard pictures. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, if you stuck into the end, thank you so much for hanging out with me and thank you for joining me for this super awesome unboxing. I'm still in shock. Um, but I do have a live sale on this channel every Tuesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern where I sell anywhere from 30 on up vintage and antique items. So if you love vintage and antiques, come on over on a Tuesday night and join me and my mom for our Tuesday night live sales. But thank you guys so much for hanging out and thank you for joining me at Withering Cottage. Bye, guys.